and welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life with me, Holly Bell. So we're back. Now, so many messages have been coming through in the last couple of days. And the main messages that want to come through for you are the following. It's funny, this morning I woke up and I started reading Your Past is a Gift. I haven't read it in since I published it actually <laughs> because I got so busy doing the other ones <laughs> that they took over and um, this beautiful one that covered in yucky mucky mud um, felt like such a download like, you know I received all this information and just poured through me and into you know <laughs> my computer screen just kept typing and typing and typing and I really didn't have time to digest what was coming through when this beautiful download was coming in for the covered in yucky mucky mud. So that's one that I have read a few times after, you know, I received all that information and I published that book. This one, Easy Mind, Easy Life, I read the meditations over and over and it gives me inspiration for new meditations. So that one I had read quite a bit, but for some reason, your past is a gift. Once it was done, it was like, it's done. <laughs> I didn't need it anymore. And so much has happened since that book. You know, since I published that book so much, oh, just, yes, yeah, so much has happened that I felt an urge this morning to go back in and rediscover, you know, what I had written uh, in that book like what my thoughts were at the time, how I was looking at things at the time that I wrote that book. And uh, I was really surprised, you know, a lot of the information uh, is still relevant today. It's still really, really beautiful. Now, that book, Your Past is a Gift, is mostly about you, okay, seeing yourself, right? You're looking at yourself when you're a child and understanding that it was never about you. These are the messages that have been coming through for today's videos. It was never about you. It wasn't that you did something wrong. It wasn't that you were bad. It wasn't that you were faulty or broken or defective in any way, shape or form. None of that, none of that. It had nothing to do with you. What happened to you had nothing to do with who you are or what you were doing or being at the time, okay? As a child, you've come into the world and you are the love. And that's all you know when you come into this world, okay? And then we go in to experience this amazing journey called life, <laughs> right? But for many of us, we get trapped in that childhood because we feel that we did something to deserve the things that happened or we did something there was something in us that made these people do these things right we triggered them somehow it was our fault that these things happened to us huh do you see where i'm going with it somewhere deep inside we feel it's our fault we did something wrong we did something that made these events happen but this is the reason these things happen to us because we did something. We're at fault. It was our fault. So I want you to really sit with that today. Really sit with it was never about me. Really breathe that into your being. These videos I'm creating are to help you release your mind from all the muck that you've taken on, all the stuff that you've piled onto yourself that isn't really you. And it is part of the process. But when some of us get to a point where we are free of all of that, we want to help others be free as well. Free your mind. You know, from all the little cages that it created when we were growing up, all those little cages that we put ourselves into. The not good enough cage, the not worthy cage. 
the one where we don't deserve, the one where we're not lovable, the one where we feel broken, even. So many different cages that we've created in our minds that we don't feel we are free to be who we are or who we came here to be. So the first thing, the most important thing, and it was the biggest lesson I received from your past is a gift, was that it was never about me. The things that happened in my childhood were never about me. And I'm going to give you one example of how I unraveled that little thread, right? That attachment. Remember we're talking about the octopus with all its tentacles attached to all these events? <laughs> the way I unattached that tentacle when my daughter was born, I had promised myself, I had made a promise that if, when I had children, I would never yell at them and I would never smack them. That was a promise I made within myself. My daughter was three years old and I found myself yelling at her. And this had been going on for a few months. And then one day, you know, I just, I remember sitting there going, what is wrong with me, right? Because it wasn't because of what she'd done. You know, one of the times I yelled at her was because she was trying to, she had a, a jug of two, liter, two liters of milk and she was trying to pour it into a cup. And as she poured it into the cup, of course, the jug was so heavy, heavy, this bottle was so heavy for her to lift on her own at the age of three, that she was adamant she wanted to do it herself. So I was like, okay. And of course she spilt it, it was all over the floor. And as I'm, you know, Ah, going off at her right, and yelling at her and off she went you know and um, I cleaned it all up and then I went to look for her once I had calmed down and I found her all huddled up you know upstairs and I remembered what that felt like you know I remember what that felt like but in this moment in time where I'm the mother and she's the child I finally got, I finally understood on a deeper level, on a, you know, a more conscious level, what my mum was going through at that time. Because it was never about me, just as it wasn't about my daughter. The yelling had nothing to do with her. The reason I found most times I would be yelling at her was because I was late with bills or I couldn't pay a bill, the money just wasn't there. Um, you know, it always had to do with financial issues, with financial stress I was going through, money issues, right? And so I would get a bill or something and realize, oh, I can't pay for this bill or how am I gonna pay for this bill? That, those were the predominant thoughts around money at the time, right? And so she would do something out of character, something I wasn't expecting, and I would just go off at her, right? I would just yell at her, it was all her fault. So, the gift of that moment, the last time I yelled at her, was the moment that I sat with myself and I said, what is going on? Why am I yelling at her when it's not about what she's doing? Because I was looking at what she had done and it didn't merit me going off the rails and yelling at her, right? It wasn't that big a deal. Normally, I wouldn't even think twice about it. I would just go clean it up and off we go, right? But what was going on in the background inside me? What was going on in here that I would take it out on her? That's the gift I received that day that I sat down with myself and I actually tracked back to what had happened prior to that moment I yelled at her. What was I going through? What were my predominant thoughts? Why had I yelled at her? Because it had nothing to do with her. That's why I can tell you with my hand on my heart that these grown-ups around you, it's not to do with you at all. They're going through their own issues and they don't know how to handle those issues. And so they take it out on you because you're there. Because you're little, you can't defend yourself. You can't do anything about it. You just have to put up with it. Whatever it is that they're taking out on you. But 
It was never about you. So I want you to get that really clear in your head today. It was never about me. It was never about me. Can you do that? Just sit with that for today. It was never about me. I didn't do anything wrong. It wasn't my fault. I'm not broken. I'm not to blame for what happened because it was never about me. You were just the scapegoat. You, they were just attacking you because you were the easiest thing to attack at the time. That's all. It had nothing to do with you. So today I'd like you to sit with that, with your hand on your heart and know that truth in your heart. Breathe it in. It had nothing to do with me. Nothing. All right, my darlings, it's going to be quite a few videos about this today. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.